Most people use ambient occlusion for basic shading, but there's a hidden trick in Blender that can completely change the way you create materials. So stick around, because by the end of this video, you'll be a pro when it comes to using this. First pick a model you would like to apply this method to. I picked the sci-fi crate, and my goal is to add some scratches and dust to the edges. So let's jump into Blender's shader editor. Then, very important, switch the render engine from EV to Cycles and I will use GPU Compute because it's just a little bit fast for me and let's create a new material and call it Crate. And then here's the most important note, the Ambient Occlusion node. So grab that and then check the inside box. Let's preview this node with Ctrl Shift and left click and now we see the ambient occlusion got applied. Okay, this is the regular ambient occlusion and this is the inside ambient occlusion. And it's a little bit weird because the inside actually does black spots on the outside, but that's just how it is. Let's grab a color ramp and drag this black value a bit more to the middle. But I don't want these handles to be that black. So I can click on plus here, drag this all the way over to the left. And currently it looks like this. And guys, this is actually amazing because you can already see how it will look in the end if you imagine some textures. And this is what we're gonna do right now. Just grab some textures you would like apply to the model. Okay, I got this metal texture. Let's preview it. It's just regular gray. And I got the sand texture. And we will use this ambient occlusion setup as a mask. Okay, and what we can do is press Control Shift and then right click on this node, drag it all the way over to this node and we get a mix node right here. And the next step is to connect this color output with this upper input right here. Let's preview it and you can see it's wrong because it's inverted and we can simply fix that by grabbing an invert node or you could just change colors. And now we see we have our dust at the edges. Now we can experiment a bit with the values right here. And I think this actually looks very good. Now let's plug this into the base color of the principal BSDF, preview it and it looks like this. And this is actually the most basic setup with the albedo and now I will show you how to add roughness, normal, etc. and make it even more realistic. I got these two roughness maps. This is the first one. It's a little bit like grunge and the second one is just scratches. And now we can mix them together and test some different methods like multiply or you can do screen what works the best for you. And I think this is actually looking good so far. Now we can plug this into the roughness, but the same roughness the box has will be applied to the sand too. And we don't want that, so let's duplicate this node by pressing Shift D, then plug it in here and we grab on mask and now make sure you're plugging the roughness of the metal into the same input as the metal right here. And before we continue, actually let's add another node and use this for the metalness. You know that the sand is non-metallic and the metal is of course metallic. Okay, and now you see this starts to look a bit better and I think this crate would look even better if we add some darker metal so let's turn this value a bit lower like that then i got this simple roughness map of the sand and i just plug this into the b also make sure this node right here at the end is set to mix and now we can do the normal map and let's grab a normal map node and this is a little bit more complicated because now I don't want any of the normal map applied to the metal, but only to the sand. So this is my sand normal map. And if I plug it into the color, you will see this gets applied everywhere. 
also it's very important to change it from sRGB to non-color and now let's apply this only at the spots where the sand is. So let's grab a mix color node in between here and this goes into the B because this was our input for the sand and for the A we grab this specific color from the normal map node and plug this into the color of the normal and now we need our mask again this goes into the factor right here and now you see it's perfectly mixed so we got a normal map for the sand at the edges and where the metal is there's no normal map applied and yeah it's actually not that hard to understand once you get used to it and if you want a tutorial on regular ambient occlusion or how to bake this texture I made a tutorial on this as well. I hope you liked this video and I'll see you next time.